Welcome everyone to another video. And in this video, this is actually our first Latios duo. I'm here with Sparkle Tangerine. And we're going, we don't like the auto selector kind of messed up now. You can't really, it's really hard to say. Then we're like, oh no, it's Dragon Claw. And I'm live streaming this. So you want to check out the other part, check out my live stream. We did a lot of really interesting duos, a little bit of Wafu um, there as well. And then these Dragon Claws are absolutely <laughs> devastating. <laughs> they hurt more than I remember last time, obviously, because uh, uh, the super effective changes made a, a huge difference there. And the three bar move, they're just so, they can be really spammy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's see here. Can I hit the outrage here? And going to hit the outrage here. So it's pretty good RNG. Should be able to survive this Dragon Claw. I'm not sure that outrage register is just too slow. Uh, and Dragon Claw is just too quick. Makes it pretty difficult. I, I do end up lobbying first. And um, let's see here. Uh, nope. It's just so brutal. Uh, yeah, these are just awful to deal with. And so... Uh, <laughs> My gosh, this is uh, unbearable. Uh, yeah, just the amount of damage this is doing is just uh, insane. Insane. And, but our our DPS looks good. We're like into the fourth number. I am lobbying at this one, which is why you saw the health rebound a little bit. And Circle Tanger is going to heal her Rayquaza team first, then go into a team of of uh, Paul Kiyos afterwards. Let's see here. Uh, and, and you see here, I lobbied into uh, um, Paul Kiyos on my end to avoid the re-lobby time, or like avoid us being the re-lobby at the same time. Uh, but even against Palkia, it's pretty devastating, which you'll see on Sparkle Tangerine's side in a little bit. So we flipped it like a, at a good time, so not overly concerned. This is Windy Boosted, so take that into consideration. Uh, I am not sure, probably not, unless you have really incredible RNG that you can do it without Windy Boost. But let's see here. We're going to hit the Outrage here. Oh my God. You're able to just squeeze it in if they do back-to-back. -back um dragon claws just barely oh man this is so brutal so so brutal okay it's all right not gonna be able to try this one <laughs> that's the that's a, a terrible sequence of uh events outrage here great outrage here it looks like it registered great. Okay, and then Sparkle Tangerine is going to go into her last team here. A little bit of lag clearing the white screen there. Um, actually, like a decent amount of lag there. But still, decent re-lobby time considering everything. Let's see here. Hopefully we can hit the Draco Meteor before the Dragon Claw. Awesome. Great. The dragon claw should be coming. If it comes now, you can should be able to hit the. I'm uh, not sure if they survive. Uh, oh yeah, hit the Draco mirror. Nice, really passive there. Extremely passive. Wow, this is amazing. I actually didn't realize it was this passive at this point in the raid. Um, it's totally fine. Gonna hit the dragon claw there. Even one more is fine as well. Should be able to hit the Draco Meteor no matter what. Oh my gosh, just <laughs> so little health left. Uh, and survive one more Dragon Breath. You'll see the bulk points on Palkia are much higher. Uh, or like, its bulkiness is clearly much higher than Rayquaza. Which is why it's a better option against Dragon Claw. Uh, but Rayquaza did pretty well as well. And actually really surprised that we were able to beat it with this much time left. Um, so anyways, we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.